What's going on family, friends, Facebook? How's everybody doing this evening? Today I want to just bring you another Food for Thought Wednesday. We're going to be talking about women's image in the media and how they portray our women. So let's get into it. Uh, this came about because, I mean, I've always had this on my mind and just looking at how society treats our women and how they are always portrayed to us is just kind of getting on my nerves. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about it. This is an ongoing problem and it's probably always going to be an issue in our, in our society. I just got done watching this uh, documentary on people with eating disorders and it, it followed these women around and you know they had an eating disorder to where they couldn't even couldn't really enjoy food excuse me hold on this train going by i'm gonna let this train go by right quick they couldn't even enjoy their food uh because they they were constantly throwing up or you know just because they had this idea that they had to be a certain size which was unreasonable because they already only weighing like 80 pounds you know a grown woman weighing 80 pounds you're not supposed to weigh that much you need to weigh at least maybe way more than that that's way too skinny but uh it was sad because a lot of them had those issues from since they were little like it started off they were a little kid like i'm talking like eight years old or 10 years old and their you know parents are taking them to see the the nutritionist because they think they're too big you know and of course you know when you're that small you have a lot of baby fat you know what i mean it's not that serious but it gives you this complex and then you're constantly bombarded with these images of these women that are you know they look a certain way they look a certain size and that is not reasonable like the women in those pictures don't look like that all those pictures are edited to make them even more skinnier they're skinny already yet then still they slim them down even more to make them more skinny and it makes no sense and it just it messes us all up it messes up the women because they think they're supposed to look a certain way and they're supposed to be a certain size. Let me tell you something. Just because you're skinny doesn't make you healthy. Let me say that again. Just because you are skinny does not make you healthy, okay? Being big, some people are big, you know what I mean? You, example, look at people from Samoa, you know what I mean? Those are some big people right there, but they're healthy. You know, it's, everybody's different. We all don't need to, to look the same. You know, we're, humanity is meant to be different. I don't know whoever decided that this was the way that the women were supposed to look. I don't know who, who, who decided that. You know, that's one, one person's uh, idea of what, you know, they think a woman is supposed to look like. When we all have different preferences, different views, but they try to push that on us and make us think this is what we're supposed to have. So it affects the men in a way that they think this is what, you know, beautiful looks like without really understanding that, you know, you can decide what beauty is. Everybody's beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It's all about perspective, how you look at things, what you think is beautiful. You know, you don't have to be beautiful just because you're skinny or because you got a big butt or big breasts, you know? That's not what you have to like in a woman. You can like a woman for her personality and just be fine with that or for, for what she has in her mind, what she's what she thinks. Like we focus too much on the physical in this in this life and it's all, all physical and everything's material. We don't really care too much about what somebody has to say or what somebody's thinking, which is really what is going to dictate if your relationship lasts or not. So, you know, it confuses everybody. The females are confused. They think they're supposed to be a certain way. And now, you know, they're not eating or they're overeating, you know, and they're just all messed up. And it's a psychological thing. It's a, it's a disease. It's a sickness. You know, they, they're not right in the head because the society has messed them up. And that affects us men the same way because now we've been seeing this all our lives on TV, magazines, you know, this view of this woman and you know this is what beautiful is so now we seek that we don't even know if that's what we like they can give us a chance to decide if that's what we like we just have been thrown that in our face and if you're not careful you get programmed to think that that's how the women is supposed to be so we seek that out and you know it's just an unreasonable uh attribute to try to attain what they are portraying like nobody is that skinny no woman is that skinny i'm trying to tell you the women they take pictures of do not look like that. Nobody looks like that. So, you know, I just wanted to try to give you guys some encouragement and give you some strength 
to just say be yourself you know what i mean you know if you're healthy or not are you eating right are you exercising okay if you're doing those things then you're healthy it doesn't matter what size that you are you know of course there may be some complications all that stuff i'm not a doctor or nothing like that but i'm just saying you know if you're healthy or not if you're eating right you know are you eating vegetables are you eating fruit are you getting some exercise every day you know if you're healthy or not nobody should have to tell you okay now i don't i want to go off on a rant for too long but i just want to give you guys some support you know what i mean don't be scared to be yourself you know be you you know it's a lot of people in this in this life that's just portraying a, a false image you know and it's it's sad you know nobody can be themselves anymore we can't have we can't be human you know everything gotta be perfect you know and then it's, and it's unreasonable because we as humans are imperfect so that was food for thought uh this is your boy love it jay you know thank you guys for tuning in shout out to chanel thank you for watching make sure you spread the video like it you know and just show love to each other god bless take care